You may not be aware of it, but every time you open a new blank document in Word, certain default formatting is already in place. A so-called blank document is really a built-in Word template called the Normal Document Template. It includes formatting such as the font type and size, line spacing, paper orientation and size, and other settings such as view and zoom ratios, toolbar customizations, and so on. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the changes in Word 2007's normal document template that seem to be giving new Empower users a bit of trouble. We'll also talk about why those changes took place and maybe give you some pointers on how to better use Word. As you can see, I've just opened Word and a so-called blank document appears. We know now, of course, that this blank document is based on the default settings of Word's Normal Document Template, or normal.dotm file. We're going to create a document so we can visualize these defaults as they relate to our new document and more easily see any changes we make. First, I would urge you not to change the Normal Document Template itself, at least not until you've given it a chance. And second, when creating a new document in Word, I urge my Tech Workshop participants to use the following procedure, which I believe maximizes the utility of Word or any word processing program's features for that matter. One, write it. Get the text into the document by whatever means is the most convenient and efficient. This might be cutting and pasting, dictating or typing, or a combination of all of those which may result in mismatched fonts and spacing. Let it go at this point. Just get the information on the screen. Secondly, write it. Use the built-in grammar and spell checker to look for errors, but always have one or two people also proofread any important documents. If you're going to share it with the world, you might as well look your best. A second and a third opinion are always safe bets. And then lastly, or third, write it. Well, if you think of a write as a formatted procedure, we can carry this little mnemonic to the third step, and that is now apply your formatting. This is the time to make your font changes, adjust your margins, play with your spacing, and maybe even flip your paper on its side. If you get used to working this way, you'll make the most of Word, and you won't even worry about the normal template defaults because you'll find it so easy to make changes specific to each document. Now, rather than t uh, type the rest of my document, I'm going to use the automatic type insertion shortcut, which is equal, that's the equal sign, R-A-N-D, beginning parentheses, end of parentheses. And when I hit the Enter key, I have text automatically inserted into my blank document. Now, that's a neat little way to create a document to explore Word's features without having to copy an old document, which, of course, would come with its own embedded formatting, and in this case might throw us off. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to copy the auto-inserted text using the copy and paste command. I'm doing this so that we'll have two copies of the same text where we can actually visualize any changes that we make. I again like to use the short uh, keyboard shortcuts, so I'm going to first select all of my text using the Control plus A shortcut. And now that the software is focusing on all of the selected text, I will use the Control plus C command to copy it to the clipboard. And finally, I'll use the Control plus V to paste it into the body of my document. So now we have a document with Word 2007 default formatting. Let's select the duplicated portion and reformat it to the old Word 2003 defaults. By doing this, we can see how easy it is to control any of our formatting and also compare the look of our text using the two normal document template defaults. I'm going to select the text I want. And I'll remind you again that any changes I make on the ribbon will affect only what is highlighted or selected. This is a very important feature or fact for beginners to keep in mind. When you highlight or select something, we always teach our participants, that's where the computer is paying attention. That's where it's focused. So this is where the program, program will focus. Any commands I then will apply up on the ribbon will only apply to the highlighted or selected information. Okay, now directing your attention up here to the ribbon, notice we're already on the Home tab. So take a gander at the Font group, and you'll see that Calibri is the default font for the body of our text. If we want to change it back to the Word 2003 default of Times New Roman, 
we just use our drop down arrow and we select that font. The size is currently 11 points, but if we want to change it back to the 2003 default font of 12 points, we can do that as well. Moving over to the paragraph group, again still on the home tab. Click on the line spacing command and you'll see the default is 1.15. It's a simple matter to click on the single spacing and change it back to the 2003 single spacing. Um, this, is a, this is probably the one new default that bothers people the most. So that's again just simply going to the line spacing command using your drop down arrow and changing it to the single spacing or 1.0 points uh, command. In the same group but using the dialog box launcher. Now a dialog box launcher is that little diagonal arrow in the corner of any group. By clicking on it you will open the paragraph dialog box. I'm looking down at the spacing area all we have to do is remove the 10 points and reset it to zero. And now we don't have any added space between paragraphs. That's the same as it was. That really was the default for Word 2003. Moving over to the Page Layout tab, and this time coming to the Page Setup group, we're going to click on Margins. And this will show us that the Word 2007 normal document template now gives you one inches all the way around for margins. But looking down on the list, we can see that we can easily select the Office 2003 defaults. And also, let's come right over to the orientation command. And you'll see that the default hasn't changed there, that the portrait orientation is the same. So there you can see it was just that easy to take a document, a blank document, or a document that we created using the Word 2007 normal document template and then going back and changing some portions of our text very easily uh, to the Word 2003 normal document template defaults. Now the reason Microsoft made these changes were to create a more legible or an easier to read document by putting in more white space and also it seems to me like sort of a no-brainer I don't know anybody who didn't just simply hit the enter key twice in the 2003 to make that extra space between paragraphs so um, the best that I can tell you now is to just give this new template uh, a try kind of get used to it and remember that when you open it up if you want to go to single space you can always just simply come up here to this paragraph group, use the drop down on the line spacing and simply change it over to single space. That way everything that you're then typing will be single spaced. Or probably even better yet, do as I instruct my uh, tech participants, write it, write it, write it, in which case you're not going to worry about any of that formatting until the very end of your document. So best of luck and enjoy Word 2007.